Jesus, five. <laughs> wow. Sorry, that was so loud. <laughs> that was my thing through his back through. Yeah. Uh, 19 a much. for who? Renmouth. Renmouth. Kabar? Uh, 18. Wow. Yeah, yeah. good one. I'm um, looking for my initiative bonus. That's proficiency bonus. Zero, negative no. four. Shush. <laughs> Eleven. Uh, initiatives plus one, so twenty. Wow, you guys are like so on top of things, except for Joe. <laughs> all right, he's clipping his toenails in the corner. I've heard all this before. I don't even listen to you guys talking hurt. Van, you are <laughs> so responsive as these demons exit their portals from the netherworld. Your guardians, specialties. <laughs> Big giant shiny alligators flow out 15 feet in every direction. Okay. You cast Spirit Guardians, and the Spirit Guardians guard all around you. Um, so they take their turn. It's 3d8 plus 1d8. If they're in the area, yes. Yeah. Or if they enter the area, yes. So, well, it's fairly smart. Right. Uh, obviously, none of us are affected by it. Sure, you don't want somebody to be affected? No, I'm good. All right. Much as I would I like want, for that to just happen. Just to ask. All right. Um, so that's your action. Do you have a bonus or a move? Um. Uh, you probably want to stay there as a protect. Well, it's up to you. I don't care about her. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. All right. No, I will s stay here. She is like the linchpin to like this entire campaign. All right. You stand right. there, dumbfounded. No. Be Really? Yeah, that's not very <laughs> nice. Okay, I cast Chain Lightning. All right. On this one. Okay. And the three bolts hit this one, this one. And that one. <laughs> okay. I already rolled damage. 51 damage. Holy right. shit. Those four die? Okay. Oh my god. Maybe give me a heads up before I burn this third level spell slot and just <laughs> fucking stand here with some alligators. <laughs> like, like, hey. I, it was intimidating. It was cool. So he's arrested again. Brown yeah, he just, Right after he cast that spell, he's like, oh, shit. I remember how this happened. Kavari, right. more and more powerful things come out. Oh. Excuse me, sir. Can I, uh, if I go through here, is that double? Well, I guess uh, it doesn't matter. It's huh? like, d yeah, it doesn't matter. Your moving is so short. Yeah. Renleth is going to it, actually... It is double move to go through there, but you still have enough move to... You could jump over the table for... Like, for or walk around backwards. Or... Can, is Renleth able to 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, get next to Cilia? So 5, 10, 15, 20... Was he already there? Yeah. Well, no, because Kavar was here, so this is double move. So 5, 15, 25, 30. So no. You can get there, but not next to her. Can I get there? Uh, yeah. Okay. I'll get there. As long as, yeah, as long as I'm closer. To protect. Not that she needs that. She uh, you know, the usual attack. Uh, a crit. Oh, no. okay. uh, I'll be back. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I don't need to go to McDonald's. You, you, <laughs> you, you honestly don't have to roll a whole lot. This thing is probably dead with your bonus damage. <sighs> okay, then. I'm just gonna. 7, uh, 13. Yeah. Nine, so you slice 22. through the creature. Yeah, it's. You slice through the creature and it dies gurgling. And you get a little bit of a... A, a uh, waste of a crit. <laughs> yes. You get a little bit of information from it as your your helm translates for you, and all you hear is... Ah, uh, didn't you think about that? No! You've defeated us, but when we don't check in, our leader will come for... And then it dies. You said a lot before he died, just considering he got smashed <laughs> in the face. <laughs> Yes, he did. Yes, he did. All right, so I finished clubbing my last toe, and I look up like, oh, what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> the portals disappear. I jumped through. No, just kidding. <laughs> now we're planes jumping. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> the campaign. So those guys said some interesting stuff uh, before uh, they died. Uh, he said that 
when they don't return, their leader will come back for us. That's not what I heard. <laughs> what did you hear? Yeah. <laughs> right? uh, it's not like he's trying to hack up a hairball. Yeah, you ever have a flamethrower ignited into your ear? No. Yeah, it's basically what Infernal sounds like, I think. I'm leaving Spirit Guardians oh. up. Okay. Cool. So. <laughs> that is cool. Uh, permanently keep the. I like that. Ten, <laughs> ten minutes. No. Oh. That's such a long time for a spell. It is. Well, it's concentration, though, so. Still, it's a long spell. Yeah. I, I would expect it to be a minute. Nope. Well, I guess we... Okay, so, don't so, cast... Cilia looks around and says... Tech magic. Sorry. It was Lilith Thana! No, no, that was me. Let's get her. It's alright. That was you? Wait, what? You I gave us... You, I told you they, they used to do this sort of thing. That's why they cut me up. Yeah. Uh, Wait, uh, she brought the fiends? Yeah, everybody's trying to find... Her? Ugh. They could, because I figured out how to use some of my magic, and so it seems things can find me now. We haven't seen her do anything. Well, those guys weren't that strong, so I mean, it's no big deal. Well, yeah, it's not like it was a Baylor. And then, whoosh. <laughs> yeah. We almost died from a Baylor. Yeah. yeah. No, we did die. Yeah, we actually. Yeah. yeah. Oh, did we? Yeah. Okay. Um. Well. I guess. Do you guys want to start heading northeast? Sure. Uh, uh, she can kind of lead us. In the general direction of the Jade Sanctum? It's either it's either that or That's we... northwest. What, I need what to is make the, a Jade, stop in the Jade Sanctum first. again? Why is there so many? They're basically magical libraries. Cool. I mean, that pretty much sums it up. They're, yeah, just they're magic libraries. Leave me there. It's fine. <laughs> is a, is, they're just information strictly on magical things, or yeah, basically they're 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 uh, basically researchers that run it, and they just have uh, lots of like magic books, and they can, they catalog and store magic strictly spells. books, or would they have like history information? And... Though the one you guys went to at the very beginning of the campaign, Spirit Museum, we had a bunch read. of uh, like just history books, and one of the guys studied. He was actually a. Uh, the guy who ran that particular one was a renowned magical scholar and was very good at history. Okay. He's dead now, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Ian Kovis killed him. Yeah. Oh, wait, that place he went to is important. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was the tower thing with the creeper? So you've actually been to yeah. two Jade Sanctums. You were at the one, the first one you went to was west of Ketlin Keep when you were supposed to identify some of the, uh, amulet you found yeah. uh, back at the beginning of the campaign. Oh, yeah. And when he was identifying it, he told you it was a bunch of bad information and it was related to Terrison and he wanted to destroy it. And, yeah, right. and Ian Kovis came and killed him while you guys were on the way back. And then you went to another Jade Sanctum because you were told that uh, by Lilithan... No, no, that was before you met Lilithan. You were you met went to another Jade Sanctum because you had information that you thought maybe you could find out about the compass there. That's right. And when you uh, found the books there, a lot of them were missing, and they had, like, uh, burned a bunch of the books. And uh, that's when oh, we yeah. met Lilithana, and she told you to try going north, and eventually the Solitress. Gotcha. And that's when... Wait, what was the first j that we went to then? The first one you went to was after you guys uh, got the amulet from the Cobalt Cave at the very beginning of the campaign, from that, uh, that, from that apprentice yeah. wizard. Uh, oh. To identify it, Lord Ketlin sent you to uh, the historian that was at the Jade Sanctum west of Ketlin Keep, in the plains of, uh, or the Grass Blades, the Glass Blades. Okay. Oh, um, that went way over there. Yeah. I how far we were. Okay. You all, uh, you guys have been trekking all over the world. Kabar, Joe, you get things prepared here. I'm gonna go with Van to the city to pick up uh, a couple of things. Do you need anything? Nah. I'm good. Do I need anything from the city? Uh, no? Okay, we'll be right back. Yeah, I have three greater health potions. So I, I pull a van and I say, let's try to make this quick. Okay. You guys teleporting? Yeah. We're teleporting. He just, he, he needs to get diamond dust. I need a thousand gold of diamond dust. Don't you guys have some diamonds now? Now's our chance, Kabar. No. What? Mm -mm. Well, we, they, we, we do, but Renlith refuses to part with them. <laughs> oh, no, I don't have any. No shit, I don't have any. I could have sworn you guys got diamonds. Nope. Huh. I, we, we, I gave him a, a grand to do the, the thing in the courtyard, but those got used up. Oh well. No? Alright. 
So, oh, um, man. I think I'm gonna have to head home. What? So, I need lots of diamonds. I did, you, you, I can give you 500 more. Oh, I, I have plenty of gold. You don't? Okay. So, so I need a thousand gold in diamond dust and three diamonds worth at least 500 gold. Okay. There's uh, gem sellers. And they sell want, dust? If you want to do it fast. They can break it down and make it dust. Okay. Well, so that would be... Yeah, it's not like there's dust collecting at the bottom of the diamond drawer. <laughs> <laughs> Scrape out the dust. Here, you can have this for <laughs> Thanks, Dad. <laughs> For some reason, when you put them in the storm, they just turn the diamond dust. <laughs> Our cleaning lady is loaded. <laughs> she comes in, feather dust her once a week, and she's driving a Benz. <laughs> um, it's exactly how diamonds work, right? Yeah, totally. I mean, it's just condensed carbon. Like it's not. Uh, so that's twenty five hundred gold. I mean, because you have to get a specific dollar amount. Honestly, uh, twenty five hundred gold. I need a thousand gold in diamond dust. It's a big enough town, you can get that. Oh well, yeah, that's huge. Well, I'm just saying, like a smaller town, that might be a problem. Well, yeah, we're not we're not doing that in the Sierra Vista of yeah, D&D. But, but you're in a big enough town to where, uh, yeah, you can get a couple thousand in diamond dust and just no, 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 a thousand in diamond dust and three five hundred gold diamonds. Okay, three five hundred three five hundred gold diamonds and a thousand gold in diamond dust. Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. It takes you a little while for them to grind the diamonds down, but other than that... What do you grind uh, diamonds with? Diamonds? Well, how... how do, yeah, I, I don't know exactly how it works. Either. How does that work? Because wouldn't one diamond just grind the other, and then they both do this? you get it to where one's sharpened, to where it, it can... I don't know exactly how it works, but that's how it do works. Do you have bolts of a thousand veins? Uh, yes. yeah, sure. Okay. I don't know exactly how it works either, but that's how they do it in real life, too. They've got diamond cutters. That are diamond encrusted. Uh, yeah, it's even in they have to be coated with some digital items. I, yeah, Does anybody have? But the only thing you have in the ring that is diamond. <laughs> so confused. So I feel like they just wear them down eventually. Featherfall ring. But it's the way they hit the diamond. That's how it is. Because no, diamonds are very right strong. Up. Sure. But the but the the way the structure is, you can break a diamond by hitting it in a, or with a frequency or something. So there is a way to break diamonds. You just have to do it in a specific way. Yeah, it's like glass. It's very strong one way, very weak another. Yeah. So I forget exactly. I read about ones because I was so confused. If it's the hardest substance we've got, how do we break it? Does everybody have uh, dark vision? Yeah. Okay. So I guess there are, are these three: the ring of feather falling, the chainmail plus two, and the goggles of night. So the goggles of night extend your dark vision, or do they? Or do they just give you dark vision? I don't remember what it says. Have dark vision to sixty feet if you. Yeah, if you have dark vision, wearing the goggles increases the range by 60 feet. Wow. Okay, so I guess I'll just hold on to that. And they um, don't require a tune, I don't think. Right. So you can sell them or you can keep them for double dark vision. Yeah, yeah. And for looking super cool. Super cool. Um, we should probably go to you and me having ranged stuff. Or I guess Van, because Van is ranged to a or something. Okay, and nobody's going to need the chain mail. No. And nobody's going to be able to or want to attune to the Ring of Feather Falling. He uh, has the spell. So. That I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Feather Fall is a touch spell. So. Yeah, it's it's just for the individual wearing it, too. So, I don't know. I don't know if anyone wants the Ring of Feather Falling. I think Kabar prefers his Ring of Jumping. Yeah. I'm all capped out on the yeah, things I can attune to. Yeah. yeah. I don't think anyone wants to choose anything that is worse than Feather Falling when someone already has. Well, I mean, when you're about to fall, you can take an hour and attune to it real quick. <laughs> wait, wait, don't push me over the edge. Really long oh. fall. I'm just going to rest for a while. Okay, so these two items will probably try and hawk. Okay, let me give you a quote. Or keep it for that one time of black jump, base jump. No, we'll just take you with us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right. All of our, all of our silver and copper totaling probably around 12,000 coins is in the keep. Is this just laying in a room somewhere? Or? It's, you, know, you sleep on it, don't you? You sleep no, on no, a no. pile of money. I'm not a drag. It's, 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 in my, <laughs> it's in my study. Okay. We've got overflowing chests of silver and copper in the room with the bare bookshelves and the teleportation circle. Is there a guard on that room, or you just lock the door? It's got an, it's got an arcane lock on it. So, yeah. So to uh, a Quick quote from the magic shop, 4,000 gold. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Mostly the armor. Yeah. 
I'll, I'll do that. Okay. 4,000 yep. and some goodwill. I let, them, I let them know that they're getting a fantastic deal. Because you didn't even haggle. <laughs> Said, you know, we're good customers. You'll remember us. Mostly just sell stuff, though. <laughs> <laughs> but I know, but your resale. You know right. how much that's going to go for. That's true. But still. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Uh, so before we leave the city... So um, 4K? That's a lot of money. Yeah. Uh, Brendan, I'm going to cast a spell on you. It's not going to hurt. Just like 40 pounds of coins. <laughs> yeah. Um, Maybe we should get another bag of holding. <laughs> just want to... Uh, so expensive, though. Want to, want to try something out. Can you uh, please tell me what you plan on doing first? Uh, <laughs> like, I don't trust anything you do. <laughs> um, you, you, you want the short version? Yeah, just tell me uh, what you call it. I'm going to... Uh, your brain's broken? I'm going to fix it in a nice way. I'm not comfortable with it. It's, it's a blessing. It's fine. You'll be fine. Um, okay. I... Okay. Oh, so what kind of... Uh, and then freaking powder gold and diamond dust is just... Whoosh, and I cast Greater Restoration on Renlith to remove any charm effects whatsoever. All right. Renlith's hemorrhoids... Instantly clear up. Uh, no, that's that's <laughs> cure wounds. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, your memory becomes unmodified. And finally, you, fucking finally. You remember the night that Celia? Where was not Celia? Celia this. <laughs> <laughs> you remember the night that Lilithana came to your room and you guys chat until she convinced you to let her cast a spell on you, and then she changed your memory to convince you that you had had a discussion with her and allowed her to stay. Um, with with a few um, stipulations, but eventually, but basically, the reason why you let her stay was because she modified your memory. She bewitched you. Is, is there any kind of? Because I know Reddith probably wouldn't admit that something happened and that he now realizes. Is there any kind of physical reaction that I can see in him where he, where he's like, <gasps> I don't know. Renlith one hundred percent is concealing. It's it's a blow, a significant blow to his ego. So, but and I, the, give it, me a deception roll and yeah, an insight. That works. Oh no! <laughs> I, I, rolled, uh, I rolled an eighteen. Uh, plus eleven. Eighteen plus eleven? <laughs> you shit ass! He's like, oh no, I rolled eighteen plus eleven. Twenty nine. Uh, I don't think I can beat that. I think um, insight. Yeah, insight. What did you get? 29. 24. Wow. Damn it! I rolled so, a 15. So you look um, at, you, you watch him the whole time, and you can see the, the wave, and you can tell that... The, it, the spell that worked? What you were hoping for, or it, it worked. It, it, okay. it, it affected him. Anything that would have been restored would have... So I, I know for a fact that he's charmed, <laughs> and I know I just removed it. So I don't need a visual And you, you just see him stare at you, and you just his expression probably just goes a little sour, like he's I'm gonna just waiting for you, and you, he feels like you just wasted his time. I uh, I won't tell anybody, but I'm glad you're back. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and we, we can get storms off. <laughs> I follow it because I want to see what happens. <laughs> like, oh, she's so screwed. Okay, we teleporting back back home now. No, it's he's he's your ticket home. Right, that's why I'm following. <laughs> yeah, that's where he's going. <laughs> okay, to the circle. All right, you guys teleport Come on, back. Fireball. Come on, um, fireball. No, ten a.m. or so when you get back. Okay, uh, go and find. Oh, welcome back, guys. Hey, so little Anna just admitted everything to me. <laughs> Turns out she affected your memory. Blows, <laughs> just blows blows right by Joe. Uh, and goes to find Maresh. I'm waiting for Joe and Kamar. <laughs> Alright, you uh, you search for Maresh. He's in his room that he set up as also his office. Okay, so I um, enter and close the door behind me. Okay. He, he stands up as you enter. Sir, what can I do for you? And uh, so... Who's Maresh again? The, dragon, the brown dragonborn that you guys uh, employ as your steward. Got it. The temple that little Vanna set up. Ah, uh, yes, I thought you might not like that, but I assure you, but she assures us it's temporary and it's, it's not actually a physical construction. It needs to be dismantled. I don't know how to do this. 
<laughs> I cannot affect it. But I, she says that it will be gone every night. I've slept in the courtyard. I've definitely seen whether or not that thing disappeared every night. Is that the case? You're, you're not in the room. Well, I mean, ha- would I retroactively have noticed You're not that? in the room. You're not part of this conversation. Oh, come on. It's just... Oh, fine. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't realize you'd been out to the keep to see it, though, yet. I immediately turn around and walk out into the keep. Okay. The one What's that's there? in the... Is he talking about the temple that's the counterpoint to the bone zone? You're not there. Oh, God damn it. Okay. Ah. So you walk out... Where are you walking? Into the courtyard. To okay, see you walk into the courtyard and everything looks the same. Uh, the bone zones to the right, the dragon right. statues in the center, well, center left, uh, and then Lilithana's little room that she's decorating, and the, her banner decorations everywhere, and then her little holy symbol above her uh, door to the other room, and then the broken gate that the people are kind of haph- haphazardly clunking away at with hammers. I'll walk up to the people who are hammering on the gate. Okay. So I dismantle that now. The gate? We're, we're, we're working the on gate. this. <laughs> I'm, I'm pointing at at the at Lilithana's place. Dismantle it. The building? Yes. Why, why are we dismantling the building? Why are you asking me questions? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> we, well, now. They just turn and... Uh, they look confused at each other, and then they, uh, 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 <laughs> you can tell they're really uncomfortable and nervous, and they just kind of stare at each other for a little bit, and then they kind of walk towards the other room, I'm or the other, s- the building. staring at them. <laughs> you just start hammering on the building. Hammering on the building? Like, randomly? Like, well, while, while just staring at you. <laughs> we're gonna do it. We don't know what to say, but we're doing it. <laughs> I don't know what to do about this. <laughs> I Fireball. <laughs> don't understand. Well, we can't blow up our own keep. This good. situation. It's like it's like tw- his eyes twitching. I think the worst thing you could possibly do to Redleth ever is screw with his ego. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna talk to Kabar and be like, "Hey, maybe we can grow potatoes and save the keep some money." It's probably like a hundred. I feel like the minute you utter the word potato, you're fine. You're fine. I'll give you another version. The minute you utter the word potato, he just gets whatever it is. He's for it. So, like this is, like this is potentially an evil point for Rimleth. Like he, he is, he's got, he's got bat shit in his hand right now. <laughs> yeah, he's 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 uh, he's ready to um, destroy. So you're standing there watching them, or what? What are you doing? Yeah, I'm staring at them. They're really nervous. <laughs> he's he's rubbing bat guano on his finger right now. <laughs> like this, just just rubbing shit in his hands. What? It's a component for fireball. <laughs> oh, guano. Yeah. Okay. They're, 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 they look like they're really uncomfortable with what they're doing, and they don't want to be doing it. But so they're just kind of like hammering on the building. Like, what do you? They're like they're waiting. Obviously, it looks like they're waiting for you to leave. Um, even with ineffectual people, you can tell that what they're doing is not doing anything. Okay. I'm gonna ask one of the guards, like, "Hey, have you seen?" Or not the guards, one of the workmen. Have you seen Will of Um. Basically, everyone who's inside the keep right now, or I guess there's some that are also clearing some debris. So one of them looks up and says, "Oh, she she went to her new temple. Um, Where is the it out new temple? After work. Where is the new temple? Oh, it's outside. Could you be more specific? Um, past the wall. You what? can't miss it. I'm gonna climb up on the battlement and see if I can see it. Okay. Or see what it is they're talking about. <laughs> All right, so you climb up onto the battlement and look out, and just beyond the wall, not very far, is a huge building, uh, at least 100 feet each side, that just is there. <laughs> uh, when was the last time we were at the keep? Um, yesterday. Was this building there? Uh, I don't know if you were on the battle, if you looked outside or not yesterday, but... Two days or three days ago, definitely it wasn't there, and there was no signs. There was there were trees, you know, debris, rocks, fallen. Uh, I'm gonna call down like, uh, really? you might you might want to come take a look at this. Go up there. 
After I yell at the people. If you're not going to do it, go back to your job. Sir, yes, sir! <laughs> They're so happy to leave. <laughs> they just want to run away. Mm-hmm. All right, I, so, you, I know that look. You, you go up, you go up the, uh, the steps to the battlement, and you look out, and yeah, there's a huge, uh, over 120, uh, 100 uh, square foot building outside of your keep. It definitely has a uh, Lilithana vibe to it. Uh, so there's just dicks everywhere? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the lavendery color. Um, it just looks, I mean, it looks like a temple. It just has a, a very strong temple vibe to it. And it looks like it's got the holy symbol of Destria right. outside of it. I was going to ask if I would recognize any religious iconography. Yeah, def- definitely a temple. Uh, Van has a, a... It's very uh, gaudy looking. A very clear... Looks I'm like not going to say I told you so look on his looks face. Looks like there's stained glass windows and all sorts of stuff. I mean, it looks fancy. And where where is Celia? Celia's... Last time you guys knew she was still in the keep, like in the audience room. How far away is that? Because um, I wanted to take magic, but I'm really scared. From here, over 100 feet away. Okay. 100 feet? Renleth, Renleth goes back down and into the, the building inside of the keep. The smaller okay. one. Uh, there, there's a faint smell of old incense that has burned uh, in the in the in the room. Uh, the the lavender curtains essentially are still there, but uh, when you op- enter the room, there doesn't seem to be anyone inside. Like there's no noise or anything. Okay. Given my knowledge of magic and kind of how it works, would I be able to tell if it's safe to cast detect magic with Celia over a hundred feet away? You're not sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let me roll. <laughs> you, just, you just don't know. It's, 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 it, yeah, you don't know. It's, it's, it's. How brave do you feel? How big is that building? Uh, this building is maybe 30, 40 foot square at the largest. It's smaller than a fireball. Smaller than a fireball. The, this particular area is curtained off as maybe a 10 foot square little area, maybe less than that. One of uh, Van, are you still on the battlement? Mm-hmm. One of the guards who's patrolling walks over. Pretty impressive, right? When did this show up? This morning. So it wasn't here yesterday. No. Oh. What did Lilithana say it was for? Oh, it's, it's her new temple, so it's not inside the keep for Lord Rinla. The temple's for Lord Rinla. No, no, no. It's to make Lord Rinla happy, so she wouldn't. She could vacate the the temple inside the keep. Send a runner to Lilithana saying Lord Rinla wants to see her in the keep. He kind of looks over because I think Renmouth is No, right he's there. downstairs. He's yeah, I mean, I'm still in that building. Um, okay, it'll take some time. Like five I'll minutes? Uh, hmm? Five minutes? No, we have to run through the, the, the secret entrance. And then... <laughs> Which was, there's nobody out there. <laughs> the secret entrance. Okay, yeah, okay. sure. So it takes, it takes a few... Uh, it's very important. Okay. Okay. You want me to get one of the workers? The, I don't care. Anybody. Buttons? Now, go. Post haste. A worker or a guard? <sighs> I'm just gonna hand him five gold and make it happen now. <laughs> That's what Redwood does. He gives people money and things happen. Yeah. Tip, I don't, I'll have to ask Lord Kabar if I can take this, Captain Kabar. <laughs> I'm gonna throw you off this balcony if you don't move in five I'll seconds. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> he runs down the battlement. That works. All right. Money or threats? Okay. Yeah, that's that's his. That's Rimmel's. Oh, that's right. You're in. You're in the. You're in the room. Trying to feel me. That's to see right. Right now he's seething. Uh, he pulls out a scroll of shatter. <laughs> yes. Steps back, targeting center on that room. That's like, you know, whatever room she prays prayed in or whatever. So, basically, the the layout of this is the the part of the building is kind of curtained off as just like an entrance area. And then further back to the right is another curtained off area, which was like a prayer room. And then off to the left is like her bedroom. Okay. But it's all in the same building. There's no walls. It's just curtains dividing it. Okay. And pacing it, you'd say 20 foot square. Okay. Um, I'm going to shatter her sleeping area. Okay. 10 foot. So 10 foot radius sphere. So I guess... Maybe I can get both of those areas if it's 20 feet square, or 10 foot 
radius, so that's ten foot radius will cover pretty much the whole room. So that's um, 3d8 thunder damage. A non-magical object that isn't being worn or carried also takes the damage. All right, uh, roll me some damage. Six six two, so fourteen. All right, so that's just the interior of the room. Yeah, it's just trying to. All right, so as you do that, uh, basically most of the building goes into complete destruction. Um, and I guess you hit yourself too, or are you doing it outside? Well, the room? I moved away because I knew I was <laughs> so going to definitely hit yourself. It. Okay, you did it outside. I didn't the room. like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. As you do that, uh, you also see what looks to be a chain reaction, and there's another uh, explosion. You see that happens in there, and then another spell uh, basically hits you. <clears throat> and I need to find out what kind of save you need to make. Renless in war mode. Um, wisdom save. Sixteen? Ooh, wait, I think it's seventeen. I think that's the exact same thing you rolled last time when you saved against one of her spells. Yeah, uh, yep, failed by one. Okay. All right, you are dominated. Okay. You're charmed, and you have an intense desire to go find yourself and apologize and and confess. I have advantage on versus charmed. Okay, give me an extra save. Did you still fail? At the same number. Wow. All right, so you're dominated and you are charmed to, and you're compelled to go find yourself and apologize. Find yourself? Well, he's supposed to go find Renlith. That's, oh. the, that's the dominate effect. He's supposed to go find Renlith and apologize and, ex and basically talk about how you've wronged Lilithana. And... Um, that was meant for me! <laughs> it was, oh, uh, shit! And it was an unprovoked attack and you're willing to take whatever punishment... Um, Rinleth How does that even play out? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's I, just I, I do it happens. compulsively, and then after, I'm conscious of this, right? Like uh, I'm, I'm conscious of myself. Do I'm compelled? I'm, yeah, you're. Com I'm, you're compelled. I have to do it. You have to do it. But I know that I'm doing it. Like um, afterwards, or like I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't apologize to myself. And it lasts up to a minute. So basically for the duration you're charmed, and then I guess you kind of know what happened. Blah, blah, blah. Sorry, me. <laughs> oh. He's having like an angerism. <laughs> I feel like it's that, like that scene in Being John Malkovich when he goes inside his own head. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so a um, minute later, are you still up at the top I'm, of the battle? I'm or? hiding up at the top of You heard a loud... I assumed he's destroying the temple. All right. Um, so I'm like, yeah, that spell definitely worked. Um, so I'm I'm getting ready to cast dispel magic, and I'm waiting until I see Lilithana enter the courtyard. Okay. Uh, you know, I'm, I kind of want to wait till she goes into the temple, but we'll we'll see how it plays out. I'm not holding the spell like a ready to action, but I'm getting ready to cast dispel magic. Okay. All right. Uh, since it takes a long time for the guy to get around Rinlet, the uh, I guess it's still you, unless Joe's got something. Mm, not really. I, I didn't go out. I, I stayed inside. But Brenda first asked me. Oh, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> All right, so. Okay, so. You, you kind of regain your composure. I'm like, I murmured to myself, that's twice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. And I want to walk up the battlement back up to where Van is. The holy symbol on the top of the door is still intact, though. Because it was outside the radius. Because it was outside the building. Oh. Um, I'll just take... Well, I'm not really necessarily, like... Still not, like, necessarily against her god. Just her. Gods are gods. They're all assholes. Okay. So I'll just leave that. Okay. I don't care. Just wanted, just wanted to point Yeah, out. it's fine. And you've got purple banner banners all over your keep, so... Yeah, but those are <laughs> nondescript, right? Those are yeah. just pretty color. Those are just That's pretty fine. colors. Just a reminder. Alright, so what were you doing? Just walking up the battlement to where Van is. Okay, so you walk up to back up the van. I've had a change of heart about Lilithana. <laughs> oh, you don't say. 
And it's trying very hard not to smile. <laughs> I don't. I want to spare my 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 friend the the pain of humiliation being known. So I'm, I'm trying to, to play cool. What are you doing? Uh, I sent a runner to get little Athena. Why? Thought you two might want to chat. Do you have any way of preventing her from coming in here? Not quickly. I can send her away for like a minute. It's not long enough. I, yeah, I know. Wait, is she from this planet existence? Okay. No, then yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. She might be equal. Uh, yeah, that's the woman. <laughs> like, right. I was like, after yeah, your age, like, what plane of existence are you from? Uh... Are you guys about dead when I come out of the building? <laughs> just, just speak of our silly and little Athena. You guys can fight against me and little Athena against me, silly. I send a message to Joe. Come out here. <laughs> Get Kabar. Come on, Kabar. We have to stop figuring out how to plant potatoes in the basement. <laughs> You're gonna need shit. <laughs> it should be pretty easy to build a shit in the basement. But we come up, I guess. Go outside. What? Paint a picture for me, DM. What do I see? Nothing. You guys are in the battle next time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I come running out with my gun drawn. Once I get up, I just tell them it's time for a little fan to leave. Uh, she missed the payment on her right. <laughs> Something like that. I whisper to the bar. Trouble in bed. Trouble in bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I really wish Chris were here for this. What is he typing? No. Typing this horrible, horrible situation that's unfolding. <laughs> All right, so, so a few a few minutes later, as you guys are standing on the battlement, you see the guard that you paid run into the temple. We'll shout down in the ba- battlements. Where's she at? Do you shoot that shout that before he goes in? No, once he gets inside. No. Oh. Well, once he's inside, there's no response. Oh, oh my god! Because <laughs> he's inside a building now. That's that's fair. <laughs> Do I see anything out there? Just a building. I'm gonna use furbolg magic. Sitting to... pretty much in the uh, wilderness. I'm gonna use furbolg magic to cast the tech magic. Okay. <clears throat> God, because it's gonna uh, be like days now. Maybe it's further than thirty feet away from you. Oh, is the range on the tech magic? Feet. Oh, I would have known that, but I wouldn't yeah. do that then. Just, just. Just before you cast the spell. Because, I mean, it's almost 30 feet straight down. Yeah, never mind. <clears throat> Let alone... <laughs> He's going to be out for a week. <laughs> she's, just, uh, she's, and, she's over 100 feet away. But it's totally fine. I brought Celia just because she needed her. Oh, thanks, Joe. You're the oh, greatest. I cast invisibility on her, though. I'm going to tell you my personality trait. Okay. If you do me injury, I will crush you, ruin you, and salt your fields. Yay! I couldn't beat Lilithana, so I turned Red Lip loose on her. Actually, she did this to herself. Oh, God. It's going to be so satisfying. I'm going to go pee first. Okay. My personality trait is gung-ho. Very unelf like Works out. I think mine's something about drinking. Oblivious to etiquette and social expectations. Yep. Utterly serene even in the face of disaster. I mean, we know we can take a little thing, so that's not a worry. Uh, I mean, did you guys defeat her last time? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. With a blink dog or whatever it's called. I mean. What does she have? Uh, a displacer beast. Ew, those are not fun. That you guys murdered. And she forgave you for. Yeah, she forgave us. No, yeah, we defeated her. We left her alive. We, like, hit a note to her shirt or something about it. Yeah, I think we did really well in it. We didn't feel like we that. In her temple. Um, no. You didn't. 
She killed more people in her temple than you did. No, that would actually work really well, as far as RP goes. Like, we were able to get past, like, secret doors and talk people into things and... Yeah, you just yes, killed, you just really killed like, constructs and stuff. You didn't actually kill any of the priests, you just walked past them. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. the, 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 I mean, I guess you technically killed the Medusa, but that's a monster, that's not a person. Yeah, Medusa and the, yeah, the constructs weren't even a fight because Kabar, as a, as a deep and deep new, came up with a great idea. Yeah. So, as soon as Lilithana comes out, uh, Renlith is going to be like... Yelling, he will yell at the top of his lungs. You're no longer welcome here. So, Redwood is yelling. A few minutes yeah. later, the guard walks back out, and it looks like his hands are bound behind him, and he's got a note tacked to his chest. The guard that came out of the temple, that that went into the temple, he's now coming out. Would she have known that I broke the charm? Is that a thing? Mm, interesting. All right. Um, does he come up on the battlements? Uh, he just kind of stands and looks up at you guys. Can we read the note from here? <laughs> <laughs> What'd she say? Uh, when you uh, yell down at him, you realize he seems to be gagged as well. <sighs> With a nice little lace handkerchief or something. Isn't he... Oh, he can't get in the secret door, can he? Don't we have a ladder? We have a ladder, right? No, not on the outside. And he can't climb a ladder with his hands bound. No, 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 but one of us... There's a ladder up here that we drop to people, though, right? Someone I'll, else can climb. I'll drop the ladder and go down to him. Okay. Cautiously. Okay. In case he's booby-trapped. <laughs> it might be a suicide bomber. I don't know. Because <laughs> that's the kind of shit Little Fauna would do. It's true. <laughs> there is a dagger that's... It's not just pinned to him. It's actually a dagger stuck through his armor. Okay. But it's not like it's not in him. It's it's like yeah, no, pierced it. through his armor. I get it. Um, I'm gonna try and read the note from as far away as possible. Okay. You 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 lean over and it's definitely in Lilithana's script. Say, I will. Uh, That's what he was typing out. Yeah, the I've note. Typing. I've been <laughs> typing her note. Let me let me make sure. Let me proofread it real quick. Renloth is like frozen. He's a statue <laughs> on top. of like, fist like, to lunch, like, does anybody else smell bat shit? <laughs> <laughs> He's bat shit crazy. <laughs> Do you see or hear that Brian Key's got a job with Raytheon up in Tucson? Yeah, I uh, I talked to him on his last day. Um, he said he got a job up at RMS. Yeah. Deputy so, program manager up there. I figured, I figured he would have been up to program manager. Not not moving into a completely... It's basically moving into a completely different industry. Yeah, so... And, uh, no, it's it's great for him, though, because he'll be an actual, real deputy PM and not... He's kind of like a deputy ops, or like an ops guy. Yeah. Uh, not the, not the uh, he was really excited about it, and, so, you know, I'm happy for him. Day, day two, he was doing... Uh, he was going out to uh, White Sands to to do some fucking crazy ass interface with customers. So definitely, definitely drinking from a fire hose. He'll do fine. Yeah, he's he's awesome. He's, he helped me out a lot. He helped out a lot of people. There was um there was one situation that that, that happened. Uh, actually, there's there were two situations that happened during my time working for Brian, where he absolutely could have been like. You're fired. Like I didn't fuck up, but things happened, and he could have been like, "Yeah, you're fired," and he didn't. Like he went to bat for me both times, and uh, that that really spoke volumes about his character to me. I was I was really impressed with him as not just a, a, a manager, but as a human being. Yeah, no, he's 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 good. Yeah, only only once that you know, he and I went to bat for a lot of people um, when the government screwed the pooch, or it was just some stupid mistake. There's only twice that I had uh, kind of be a pretty nasty guy with a couple of my employees and shit can them. <laughs> well, one time I had to fire somebody who was administrative because he hadn't technically started yet, so I never had to <laughs> tell anybody. He, so I hired this guy who used to work over at SOC, and then his first day of work, the like, interview went well, great references, no problems. First day of work, he goes to he shows up to come on post, and they're, they're like, we're not going to let you on post right. because you're awaiting trial for a DUI. 
Uh, for se severe DUI, like, um, yeah, and I was like, you couldn't think to tell anybody about this? Like, I don't know. Yeah, dude, that's, that doesn't... So this technically, I guess, is only going to be seen by Van, and yeah, he might I'll, not I'll let look. He may, he might, sure. on, he might <laughs> only let, uh, he might not let anyone else read this. I won't look. And... Jesus, man! What? Oh, fuck you! Oh! Okay, scroll down. Oh, what? You lying bitch! Oh! Vile cur? What? Oh, God, I hate her so much. Uncouth. That's just low. Is this what Van is saying? Like, really? Yeah, no, no, 100%. This, this is the <laughs> random stuff Van is spewing out. What? It's, I, ugh. Ugh. How far away is he? I'm going to use Mage Hand to pull the handkerchief out of his mouth. How far away is he from uh, Renlund? It's technically tied. I don't know if Mage Hand can do that. Uh, I, I don't know. No. His wouldn't. could. I don't think yours can. Yeah. Um, uh, they're probably straight down. Like 60 to straight line. I mean, I mean, straight line, 60 to 90 feet. Well, is it 60 or...? <laughs> do you have, a, do you have a, like, a 60 range? Yeah. Um, oh. Considering it's got to be away from the keep a little bit, it's probably more than 60 feet. What's the range on Mage Hand? 30. 30. Oh, all right. You're within range. I just don't think it can do it technically because it's tied. If it was just like stuffed in his mouth, you does could do he it. look okay? Yeah, he's okay. Well, he looks kind of concerned, but did she do anything to you? When I ask him, what, did you? I mean, did I'll... you untie it? You have... No. <laughs> oh. Is it is it safe for me to untie your gag? Like, did she put a spell or something on you that you know? Oh. Did she? Huh? Not yes for safe. Say no for no. Not safe. Did she cast a spell that you noticed? All right. I'll... What? Okay, I'm gonna cast a spell magic on him. Okay. Give me a roll. Ooh, that only happens if it's third level or higher. Okay. Uh, ooh. Ugh. Ten. Okay. The dispel seems to go off. You don't notice anything. Run the thumb scared to untie this guy. <laughs> I think she did something to him. Walk him towards me. Walk. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go. He, he, sideways walks, he, he walks up to the edge of the castle and just kind of leans back and stares up the battle. So once he's sixty feet from me, I I, I, I may chant. I, I distance spell him. Okay. So I can get sixty feet and grab the note. Um. I guess it rips from the dagger and comes up. Okay. No, I can read it. <laughs> Van's like, oh, sees the note floating in it. She's full of shit, by the way. <laughs> it's a bit bigger. Oh, it's a lot of words. She's uh, verbose. Hey, Taylor, can you untie the ball gag from this guy's mouth with your rage hand? Or Joe, sorry. Joe's middle name is Taylor, so it works. Uh, yeah. I, I started going down to him. Do I get there? Uh, yeah. You can get there, because you can go down the ladder that they're, they've set up. Don't. I think she wanted to put a spell on him. I Don't don't touch him. Use your mage hand. I think something's going to go off. I'm going to back 30 feet away. <laughs> it's... No, I'm walking to the time. This poor guy. I, I untie him. Or I cut him loose. Whatever I need to do. Joe cut him loose. In person. Okay. Uh, nothing happens. The guy cuts, comes loose, uh, and... and take the gag out of his mouth and he says, it's all I, I didn't do anything. She, she's, she's just framing me. There's, there's nothing in my room. Well, oh, nobody. I mean, uh, there's. You stay right there. Don't go anywhere. She planted it. Planted what? The evidence. What evidence? Against me. Stay right I there. didn't do anything. I'm innocent. Uh, I'm going to call. I'm, I'm, I'm not in the battlement. I'm next to the guy like 20 feet away. Well, no. once, once nothing happened when he untied him, I would move closer. <laughs> Can I go back inside now? You can climb back up the ladder. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna this is what you need me to do. <laughs> Renleth may not be answering you right now. Yeah, he doesn't. He just goes down. All right, you inside. guard up the ladder. I didn't do it. He, he basically the whole time he's climbing. It wasn't me. She planted the evidence. Shh. It's not my fault. Shut up. I've been framed. So he he rolls up the scroll and just puts it in his room on a shelf somewhere. Okay. <laughs> All right, you guys all get back to the top of the battlement with the soldier or guard. Uh, 
Nicole for one or the other. Who's the captain of the guards that's under Kabar? Not not Kabar. Kabar. He is. Who's second in charge? He's Kabar. the NCOIC, OIC, first line. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's, it's, it's Kabar and then like 25 primates. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> very just... flat. Okay. okay. There, there's Kabar, day guard, night guard. Uh, who's. This guy's the. Day this guard. is one of the day guards, yeah. Day I think guards. there's three day guards. Okay. Um, I would tell Kabar, because he's here, like, hey, so he may have been stealing stuff. I don't know if he did or not. He says he's innocent. So, so you might want to check his room. It's probably been so they probably take him to the dungeon. Okay. Let's a search see. of his room uh, shows that there is a sack of gold uh, under his bed. Uh, we don't pay them that much. So over a hundred gold pieces. Uh, There's also looks to be uh, rations and tools. So, who wants to tell him? Look, this guy's been stealing. And to make his... <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I'm not doing that. He's in a bad mood. <laughs> one of, one of the, basically, the guard that reported this. Uh, I believe this falls under Captain Kabar's or 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 uh, uh, Sir Van's jurisdiction. Whoa, uh, no. No, to, not Sir Van. Work to do upstairs. Got to guard the battlement. No one's up there. <laughs> <laughs> I say, I guess, throw this guy down in the dungeon until uh, Kabar has time to deal with it. Yep, let's let Kabar deal with it. Agreed. <laughs> <laughs> Bad cop, worst cop. Alright. <laughs> yeah, don't don't bring Renlith into this, because he will just cast immolation. <laughs> just... He will light him on fire. I kind of want to see that. <laughs> and, and, because Renlith, if, if she came out, he was going to, he was going to do something evil. <laughs> that's why she didn't come out. <laughs> How did she know? The guard. Well, no, no. How did she know that Renlith didn't just want to see her for reasons? The guard. All I told him was that Renlith wants to see her. And the guard knew that something was up. How? Because Renlith was acting really weird, and you were acting weird. So then she put things together and found it, and found out that her uh, temple had been attacked because mm-hmm. her glyph of warding, warding was triggered. That's just a set and forget. That's, there's it no... is. <clears throat> but she also had a different... She had multiple glyphs set. Got it. Okay. She's been setting glyphs every day. Oh, I fucking hate her so much. So we're gonna, so we're gonna kill her, right? That wasn't the last one either. Yeah. Renleth uh, comes out of his room. Uh, and she's, she's a goddess or a trickster domain. She's got a... She's no combat spells. <laughs> At least not memorized. Comes out and uh, he looks ready for travel. <laughs> ready for traveling? <laughs> <laughs> we going on an adventure, Master Frodo. <laughs> <laughs> so is this a group trip or <laughs> I quit? <laughs> it's like, you're keep now. <laughs> I'm going to become a wizard. So angry. <laughs> so angry to go read books. <laughs> Never do that to himself. <laughs> I'm gonna look around and be like, so are we going somewhere? Are we gonna, are we gonna kill her? Or kill who? The lady that built a temple outside? It's going to be gone. Right, and you know she's gonna show up later. Because that's her thing. Perhaps. So. Just kill her now. You want to murder her? Oh, man, why'd you have to use the M word? <laughs> no! You just beat her up. No. Oh. <laughs> What? What's? What's? I. This is a deep moral conflict for Ben. <laughs> I, I really, I really want to kill her. I really want to hit her really hard, but that's. I'm not supposed to do that. Wait, no. It, what's Reese's take on on killing people who really deserve it? I mean, death's only supposed to happen naturally. for natural causes. That's, so that's a hard causing, fast rule. So like if they're causing death by stopping by ending one life, you're protecting others from unnatural death. <laughs> Kill anybody, though. but she hasn't killed anyone since you've known her. Oh, now she's before just... you knew her, she was really good at killing her own people. Yeah, they were technically bad guys. So you're fine with letting her go? And look, she after, didn't kill your person after what totally didn't happen. You're fine with letting her go? If she returns. We'll deal with. Her. Okay. All right. I guess we'll let her go. Let's get the hermit. Fine. 
She can live, I guess. When with this thinking, he's got this nagging suspension, suspicion that this is all Dan's fault. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> this is this is <laughs> definitely not my fault. Letter says it is. Oh, there, you obviously can't trust this person. She's never really lied to you guys. Except for so. the whole, like, muddling his mind. Renleth understands means to an end. That's the conflict. She's a she's a but weird kind of evil. <laughs> she's not like he does evil. <laughs> he does look at Van when he's back around him and say, if she comes back, she knows what will happen to her. Okay. She really doesn't. <laughs> No, I got, I got, I got. She assumes you're gonna forget her again. Everything will be happy when Bam's gone. I feel like Renwood can hold a grudge. And what do you mean when I'm gone? (laughs) (laughs) This is definitely not my fault. Everything went wrong when you came up. (laughs) It's one big happy family until the end. I mean, correlation is not causation. Just because I showed up and things went to shit doesn't mean it's my fault. Three guys was fun, but four is too many. Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, now it's three and a half. <laughs> Ouch. It is. It's a... Uh, Not even a reaction. He's like, uh, so done with you guys. <laughs> He's browsing Reddit right now. <laughs> He's just watching. I just want to shoot things with my crossbow. <laughs> it's an artificial presence device. <laughs> well. So where are we going, Renla? Northeast, right? We're going to follow our compass. Follow the compass. Oh, because, 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 because. hey, because she didn't give you a definite answer on just really Is far away. Celia around? She's uh, in the keep. She's. You guys are like in the courtyard. I'd like, right like to go find Celia. Okay. She's sitting at a table. Looks bored out of her mind. Hey, Celia. <laughs> She's some food from breakfast. Hey, how you doing? How she feels. <sighs> bored. Well, hey, so can I play with your bones? <clears throat> sure, but can we can we talk for a quick? Cool, first? they're not blessed anymore. They are, but you're fine. You're a friend. Um, speaking wow. of friends, you seem in a better mood today. I am. <laughs> it's been a great day. Oh, so can you? You're friends with Wendell, right? As much as anybody is. <laughs> that is a fair <laughs> statement. Okay, <laughs> we two are bonding so much right now. You, you wouldn't want anything bad to happen to Renleth? Um. I see where this is going. I'm sorry. For what? I'll find some place to go. No, 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 Celia, we uh, <laughs> really like having you here. <laughs> That's oh. painful to say, but... So, you remember Lilithana, right? She kind of shudders. Yeah? She did something really bad to Renleth. Did she touch him? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> she tried. <laughs> um, she messed with his brain, and so he... His, his mind, and so she made him think that things happened that didn't happen. Uh, and she admitted as much. I would kind of recall the, the, the things that were in the letter, omitting the part where she said it was my fault. <laughs> <laughs> Strategically. Um, and now she's going to go away, but are you okay with her just doing something like that and getting away with it? Everybody makes mistakes. Yeah. And if we can't forgive for mistakes, then, well, nobody would have any chance at all. You're right. That's, damn it. Time. Sometimes you have to forgive someone a lot of times, too. Even if they do something really, really, really bad that they didn't want to do. Did you do something really, really, really bad that you didn't want to do? I don't want to talk about it. Recently? Celia, it's okay. If she just kind of looks down and starts playing with her If you did again. something bad, we're friends. We'll forgive you. Maybe Renleth wants to talk to you. But we'll forgive you if you did something bad, but we can't forgive you if you don't tell us what it was. It, didn't, it was before you were around. It's okay. We're still friends. We still like you. We're not going to kick you out because you did something bad. That's not what you normally say. I know. I've had a change of heart. Ren- Renlith has taught me that you don't have to strike wrathful vengeance on somebody because they did something wrong, even though they really deserve it. You know, you can have more than one friend that's a girl. You don't have to get rid of another one just to get a new friend. You don't have to get rid of Lilithana to be my friend. Or I was your friend before Lilithana showed up. And Lilithana's not my friend. I don't know if you were ever really my friend. That hurts me. 
Ooh, ben so is legitimately hurt by that. Sometimes statement. you said some mean things around. Me. I'm cranky sometimes. I lived by myself for like a hundred years, so I don't really know how to work with people. Wow, I've lived really, for a hundred years. This is emotional growth time for Ben. <laughs> like this is some deep fucking introspection. I've lived for a hundred years. Um, that's cool. Um, yeah, I've done some bad things. Like what? We're um, friends. You can tell me. It's fine. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Okay. And she reaches out to touch her hand. Oh, okay. Just exercise. <laughs> All right, she yeah. touches your hand, okay. and you're enveloped in a vision. Uh, okay. I can either recount it, or uh, just give you, or I can give you verbatim, or I can r remind you. It's the same vision she gave Renleth of her parents being in her whole village being murdered, or not murdered, but burned to death because of her. Because of her. Okay. Basically, um, she she. She recounts it being a nice and, and everything going well, and then she teleports to a, a hill that she used to be. She used to hang out and watch the city as a child, or when she was younger. And uh, then she's back on this hill, and everything's just burning. And she's watching as little fire rabbits run around chasing people, and and until they basically burn to nothing, not even ash. Jesus. And then she turns around and says, and thinks to herself that she needs to go because now uh, someone will be coming for her. And basically, as she walks away, there's nothing left, like not even ash. Is this a graphic image? Oh yeah, it's like, super graphic. Like the bodies melt as the bunnies catch up. To so them. like Raiders of the Lost Ark kind of. Yeah. Oof. Wow. Uh. <clears throat> Basically, little bunnies grab them and hug them, and then they, like, just melt. Jesus Christ! <laughs> that is so messed up! Yeah. What is it like inside your head? Good God. Um, little fire bunnies hug people to death and they melt. Well, that was from her point of view. I meant you, Daniel. <laughs> I didn't come up with that kind of shit. Um, wow. Uh, do I need a saving throw or anything? Am I traumatized right no. now at all? No. Like, wow, um... Uh, wow, see you. Okay. But yeah, if you wanted the verbatim description. No, that's that. fine. The, the TLDR is good enough. All right. It's traumatic. Um, and she kind of pulls her hands away. That was one, the first bad thing that happened. That was an accident, though, right? Everything's an accident. Okay. Um, I thought that's why you wanted me to leave. No, that's okay. So we, we, we still forgive you. Actually, there's nothing to forgive. You didn't do that to us. It's fine. Not that. Um, were you fired? It's not always fire. Oh, was there something else that happened? What's the worst thing you've ever done? I, I don't know if I want to see this image. Killing my parents? Um, see, I'll tell you something oh that, 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 that that nobody, I haven't told anybody here, like not even Renleth knows, that um, a long time ago before I ran away to live in the swamp, my village was attacked by a bunch of evil creatures. Zombies and ghouls and evil things. And... Um, Instead of helping defend my village against these evil things, um, I saw my my family and my friends getting hurt and killed by these things. And instead of helping them, I ran away. It could have been worse. How could have been worse. Ha ha ha! You could have tried to help and just killed everybody. I mean, yeah, that 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 that's an excellent point. She, she like she starts tearing up, and you can see that she's like like that hurt, hit her physically when you said that. Uh. I'll give her a hug. She kind of shrinks away from him and says, See, you think that's worse too. Maybe that wasn't the worst thing I did was to kill my parents. So, so we all, just, we they all... just wanted me to help. It's 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 our intentions that matter. Even if you tried to help and bad things happened, it's... Uh... You said that was bad. I yeah, did that. That's okay. The bad things happened. Not your family, but it was other families. It's it's. Do you want to do better moving forward? It doesn't seem to matter what I want. Is there a way we can help you do better? I don't know. You helped me one time. Want to try that again? I don't know. Maybe it would help? Maybe. Maybe it'll make it worse. Maybe. They tried to help me before. They thought I could control it, and then they wanted me to help defeat the bad guys. And then they were all dead. We just want you to be safe. I don't like it when people fall apart. Yeah, me either. I think she means literally. <laughs> <laughs> um, have you told Red like this? Is, he knows about my parents. But I, I haven't told know. anybody about what you didn't do to help and what I had to do one time. Okay. Um... 
All right. Well, th thanks for sharing. Uh, and I won't tell anybody that if you don't want me to. No. Okay. I don't think they'd like me. It'll be our secret. Okay. All right. Do you want to go get something to eat? No, we just had breakfast a little while ago. It's <laughs> <laughs> the only way I know to deal with trauma. <laughs> so she still got scrapped, but she's been pushing around her plate for um, the last hour while so you guys I were think, out there. I think we're going on a trip, so you want to go get your stuff? Oh, and... That's right. We're going to find the magic. Yep. Are you ready okay. to go? I just hope no more demons show up. Me too. Do we know where we're going? Uh, you're pointing the way. It's so long way. I don't think we can walk. Uh, no, I think Reynolds gonna magic us there. Oh. Maybe we should find out where we're going. Let's do that. Yeah, you should talk to Reynolds about that because I, I don't. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I guess Van and Celia walk out at some point. Yeah, and... I, I, Renleth is just been trying to to wrangle. Joe and Kabar, but every time he finds one of them, like, the other one goes somewhere else, and it just keeps doing this. Oh, wait, I think I saw him in the kitchen. I'll be right back. Well, for a while, Kabar <laughs> is dealing with his, uh, his guard, and we'll find out exactly what he did when he fesses up. Uh, just text so, him, what's the punishment for lots of theft? Yeah. And so, uh, Death you get everybody up. together, finally, when Kabar finishes, and Joe cleans up the bone zone. From last night's revelries. Do they need a mop for that? Or? <laughs> Lots of wet wipes. Ew. And <laughs> sanitation. You can see that the workers, like every time they have a chance, they kind of stop out front of uh, Lilithana's old temple and just kind of stare in and look at each other. And you can see they kind of just sigh, like they don't really want to do that work and they know they're going to have to do it eventually. And yeah. They walk by and keep working on whatever else job they're working on. So where are we going, boss? I'll look over to Celia. She looks like she's been crying recently. Not um. my fault. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the first thing he does is look over at Van. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> got rid of Lilith Thana. Yeah. I, I got rid of Lilith Thana and I made Celia cry. <laughs> Best day ever! What's Van that? said we were going to go find the magic today. If we can. I need a little bit more information, if you had anything other than pull. I don't know much. Any... I just feel directions, and kind of distances. Far and northeast. No? Far and northeast, that's helpful. Further than we've ever gone before. So we're going to Maine. <laughs> Farther than we've ever gone. But we've gone across the continent almost. Are we going to a new plane of existence? That'd be cool. Well, I mean, on the other side of the continent, it's technically north and east. From where we are now? Let me see. Where is, where's the... Where's our keep? Just the bottom right of the Solus Lake. If you look at the word Soringar on there, it's like yep. directly above the A. Okay, so Solatris. Yeah, okay, Solatris. You're just northwest of Solatris in the mountains. So we're going north and east? There is no north and east, especially not very far. Are we going off the map? Oh, north and east, right? Mostly north. Calamain. Or Icewell. Can you do that thing where you can figure out the direction again? Like, not necessarily right now, but like, you do it multiple. Yeah. So let's get a big map and we'll stand silly in the middle of it? Maybe we can do it in the courtyard where it's safe. Well, I mean, I, I think we need, like, a, a longer area to get a... Well, I'm not... It's going to feel the same. We haven't gone anywhere. I'm just saying, like, if we head in that direction, then we can use it once we get more in that direction to make sure we're on the right path and change directions and stuff. Okay. Maybe we buy, like, a griffin or something in town? Yeah, that worked out well last time. Griffin. Isn't that we, what you guys borrowed and left in the middle of nowhere? Now we have money. Well, they, they just left. They weren't trained to, like... Oh, I thought yeah. you abandoned them in the desert or something. Oh, no, those are just horses and stuff. Oh. Probably. Yeah, we were safe from the desert by Griffins. Yeah. That took us to the city. No God, way. okay. Maybe, I guess. Um, I can't... Uh, I don't know if there's anywhere to acquire Griffins. Pegasus are the fastest. They're super quick. According to snake oil salesman. <laughs> right? <laughs> no, no, seriously, they are very, very fast. Not, not horses that have grown up with Pegasus. <laughs> or really with Pegasus. Um, I guess let's go. Right, Pegasus makes more sense than ever. Let's let's go to Solitris and see if we can find ourselves a magical steed. You know, you know a guy. I thought you had like a Griffin guy. Not out here. 
My Griffin guy is. My Griffin guy is somewhere else. <laughs> I do know a guy. It's the same guy you know. Yeah, we do have a different guy. Yeah. Dean, <laughs> um, he's the best. <laughs> I, was like, I, know a, I know a Griffin guy, it's fine. Like, do we know a Griffin guy? Oh yeah, you guys do know a Griffin guy. <laughs> we know a Pegasus guy, that's the $10,000 question. Uh, technically you know a Pegasus, I think it's a woman that runs, runs that place. Isn't it the one that's super overpriced? Yeah, she hates and you guys hate her because she tried to sell you horses that were fast and amazing because they were stabled with the Pegasus. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Screw that lady. Plus, that's all the way over in Tarsus. Which is a teleport away. That's true. But then the Pegasus has to get all the way back over here. Exactly. And she didn't want to sell the Pegasus. She just wanted to sell you the horses with right. from the, the Pegasi horses. Can't you just teleport us anywhere? I have yes, to. Yes, I can. <laughs> <laughs> it's not necessarily yeah, a good that, idea, remember? Anywhere. We can also probably take a boat to... It's either, well, it's either somewhere specific there. or anywhere. Oh, that's <laughs> not helpful. So send this to Kattegat? Well, Calamane. That's about as far north as you can get, unless we're going to Icewell. Well, that's that's northwest. Well, uh, we well, said mostly north. Gennon? Poultrya? Gennon or... Poultrya. It doesn't have to necessarily be in a city. You try to buy a teleport. See if someone can teleport you there. That's true. All right, let's. That might let's, even be cheaper than buying Pegasus. Yeah, definitely. Okay, let's. Especially from that overpriced twat. <laughs> let's let's go into let's let's head into Solitress and, and find a yeah. wizard. <laughs> you say it with <laughs> such disdain. You're like, ugh. Um, I mean, there's the magic shop. Just depends on what you're looking for. A teleport. Some teepee. <laughs> <laughs> dragon studies, the old wizard that you uh, helped. Uh, I mean, I, 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 want, I want to go to a uh, uh, wizard that specializes in conjuration. Okay, so <laughs> Lady Leaf. There you go. She's Fine. a conjurer. She can maybe at least point us in the right direction. All right, so you head to Magical Means and Measures. Again. Again. <laughs> Uh, all right, you walk bust, in. You bust say, down the door. Uh, let's see. This is we're not busting down doors. I know. We're I just not. I always say that. If you haven't noticed, <laughs> like you go to the bathroom, you bust down the door. <laughs> I'm here for the tour. All right, so you head into the magical means and measures, and the familiar twinge of magic hits you as you walk in. And the female clerk is behind the desk, and with uh, insane amounts of luck. Uh, so is Lady Alif, and it looks like they're going through some ledgers. Is it the morning? Or it after? is morning. It's it's late morning at this point. Um, probably 11, a little after 11. Probably nearing lunchtime. So we're going to good morning, Lady Alif, and then gives a very slight bow. She looks up. Ah, uh, you... Renleth. Renleth. Lord Renleth! And the, the clerk kind of perks up. Oh, they were here uh, to sell some stuff earlier. Oh, uh, same place. Got it. Customers, what can I do for you? We're here to buy something this time! Delightful. Well, we're actually inquiring about services and seeing if maybe you could point us in the right direction. See, we're seeking a um, port to the north. Perhaps to... Uh, the, the docks are north of the teleport. Ah, uh, you can't walk to the docks? Not unless there's a wizard at the docks that can teleport us north to Ginnon or somewhere in that area. Get it. Get it. Um, is that a town up north? I suppose so. Oh. I would take us myself, but I've the not only, been to those places. The only town north of here that I know is Calamine. It's like the northwest of Ginnon. That's the place I suggested. Here. Oh, wait, I can't. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to see. It's the remote desktop, I can't send I'm not, even, I'm not even sure if that's, like, closer. Yeah, I don't know if it would be or not. It almost... I guess maybe. Okay. If it's... I wasn't sure if you could, if you knew where it was. Yeah, I see it. Okay. Can she just... So, I'm gonna ask, uh, can you just send to about this? Yeah, you guys took Oh, took this isn't a conversation for public. Actually, I don't know. Yeah, you guys took so away. Yeah. Yeah, because I think everyone yeah, can. No, yeah. we, we don't talk about that kind of stuff, but... Right. So can you sense the direction of these magical <laughs> items? Like, is that the, you're a compass, right? Like, <laughs> I, I'm the sign of magic, but yeah, right? <laughs> that's what everybody's looking for. I'm sure that's, that's what she says yeah, right. to everyone. So 
Uh, I just say to Lady Leaf, well, if you can help us arrange that, we can certainly pay the necessary fee. Uh, teleport to Calamine. You tra- planning to travel the seas? It's a port town. It is. Well, I mean, if you're looking to get into some long-distance trading, strange, but... Can you send us there or not? I can't send you there. I could teleport myself with you. Okay, we'll pay you for the return trip. Okay. Do you want to get into trading? Not really. I can't do it until tomorrow. The world's going to be destroyed in like a year. So you gotta, you got to prepare stuff. I, I, I don't traditionally keep the spell on well, hand. Well, I got it. I'm a cleric, in case you haven't noticed. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. At least, at least not normally. And today is not a travel day. You can only travel on like Tuesdays or something? Or whatever the Tuesday is. And... Well, if if you can port us there, I can always open a portal back. I normally travel on for, uh, second day. What's today? Uh, today is uh, fifth day. And there are ten days in a week? Six. Six. Why? Why couldn't you? Why? why? Okay. <laughs> because of course there are. Can't, can't be seven. Can't be ten. There's six days in a week, and there are uh, five weeks in a month. <laughs> well, that's the way of course, the calendar should be. Thirty days in each month. That makes sense. Yeah. All right. Thirteen months, right? Yeah, I've seen that thing. And then you're tied at the end, where it's a five-day holiday or six-day holiday. <sighs> that's not really a, a month. Okay. Well, if you'd be willing to do this, I can do it, but it will cost you. We'll give you thirty gold. Well. Hope that's, you have luck somewhere. That's a joke. It's, it's my attempt at humor. So? 7,000 gold. What?! I might as well buy everyone's ship with that. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, but who's gonna pilot it? If you can fa- if you manage to get a ship from here to Calamain, I crossed the lake and then across a river in 24 hours. Let me know. Ugh. I have to return there for, and I have no reason to go there. So you're paying for my return as well. Well, we I don't, can, we don't I even can, know if that's where we're going. I can open the portal back for you. What do you? Of course, that's where you're going. I've been there. We're not going to fail. No, that's not. Shh. <laughs> Lady Leaf, we just need to ride there. I can open a portal back for you. You don't need to waste your effort on the way back. So you that's can send me back same day. As soon as we get there. So that's three thousand gold then, for, since we're only paying for one. Okay. Thirty-five. Thirty-five gold? Done. Thirty-five thousand. Thirty-five hundred. Oh. Unless you want to give me a persuasion yes. check. Um, yeah, I'd be like, how about a feather token tree? Is that the one that turns oh. into the tree? <laughs> <laughs> that is the most useless item in the history of D&D. And, and a, uh, a regular customer. I hold up my arm with my owl on it. Or how about a nice owl? Yeah, anything but thirty-five hundred dollars. That's cutting into the the ball hit one. Uh, don't need an owl. So Are you sure? He's magical. The persuasion roll is 24. Oof. I will bang on hands and knees to help. <laughs> okay, I will take your tree token. <laughs> and... Five gold. 2,800 gold. Okay, that's fine. Say an 80-year-old oak tree is only worth 200 gold. When and where? Yes! <laughs> that was the key to the whole campaign! <laughs> That's the one that just it's grows a tree, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Big tree. Really big tree. Renleth sees absolutely will never be able to do it. <laughs> Renleth has absolutely no idea. I absolutely could. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got I've grown all kinds of things in that swamp. So meet me here whenever you. whenever is good for you tomorrow. After breakfast? Sure. Perfect. I can still do my errands when we get back. Or Same when way. I get back. And leave you there to rot in Calamine. Whoa. We won't be there long. I would hope not. Thank you. Do you know any good bars in Calamine? No. I don't want to go drinking. And if you don't remember me, I'm sure someone will refresh your memory. There's not even any wine worth buying in Calamine. Oh, unless unless, unless you happen then. to find someone who's simply traveling through and delivering it someplace better. Have you tried Feywine? Yes. And I've stayed sober. Is she an elf? Yeah. Oh. Well, then, <laughs> never mind. She's a high elf. Ugh. Yeah, she's my peeps. <laughs> she's full-blooded high elf. Yeah, she's <laughs> she said you're half, half my peeps. 
And I look wrong. <laughs> you don't serve your kind here. <laughs> um, very well. Um, I guess... Fine, then. Meet me here tomorrow morning. I'll be here in the morning, so it's whenever you can drag yourselves here. Very well. Um, while I'm here, can I pick up a hundred golds worth of your finest jeweled chalks? Yes. Thanks. Nice. That's an easy purchase, because you have to get exactly a hundred gold worth. <laughs> Spell components. Gotta hate them. Mm-hmm. Well, I have... It's fifty golds for... Uh, Teleportation circle. I have two. I just want to stock up. So I'm going to use one tomorrow for her, sending her back. Yeah. What does this chalk look like? Stupid. It's probably just what looks like chalk, but it's got stuff encrusted into it. And exactly. It's, Glitter chalk. Yeah, it's got a little yeah. jewels in it. It looks way fancier than it should be. Okay. I feel good about this plan. We haggled a tree. <laughs> And uh, got a discount of uh, five thousand two hundred gold. Yeah, but you, well, I mean, because you paid a hundred gold for the chalk. So. Yeah, is that plus, a bonus plus, spell? plus fifty. Is that a ritual spell or is ritual. it? Ritual. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, it's because I took the mage initiate fee. What does that let you do? And I took it in the wizard spell class, so I get like a, a couple extra cantrips in the, of the wizard. Well, yeah, because I took the same thing. And but... I can do rituals. Wizard oh, rituals sorcerers on my level. S- sorcerers don't get any rituals. Ew, that sucks. It's awful. Sorcerers have other perks. Like being able to cast the same spell on Two twice. different things. Or twice as far. Or as a bonus action. Or exclude certain things from AoE. Well, sort of. Kind of? Yeah, it doesn't exclude them. It just like gives them advantage or some shit. Jesus. It's really not that great. Careful. Or it makes them succeed, so they only take half damage. Well, you only take half of 77 damage. That's cool. Yeah. I rolled really well on that chain lightning that was totally pointless. but <laughs> Right? Oh, well. Yeah, it's not like you burned the third level spell slot for nothing. <laughs> you know, we better talk. Okay. I'm trying to think of there's anything else we need to accomplish. I don't think so. I think we're kind of set up for when we play again in a month. Okay. I wasn't expecting you guys to be so quiet. Yeah, dude, there's there's nothing in here for Magic Initiate about being able to cast rituals now. From just says you get two cantrips on a first level spell. Ritual is a different one. You have to take another. Uh, oh, ritual caster. Yeah, that's yeah. what I took. Sorry. Oh, I was like magic initiate. Yeah, no, just sorry, I, I, I messed that up. I meant uh, ritual caster. That's what I got. Got it. It's his dirty little secret. Oh, you have to have a ritual book. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, Renlith has a book. Yeah, it's mostly like. Renal has many secrets, so he doesn't let you guys in on him. so many secrets. <laughs> like how he got bewitched by that cleric lady! No, I didn't say that. <laughs> that did not happen. <laughs> Never happened. Of the secrets that he has, it's probably the least embarrassing one. <laughs> Is there anything else that we wants me to do in town? Like uh, the new just... kids minis that are coming out? She's like, I want this one, this one, this one, this one. I was like, okay, I don't want any of them. <laughs> Yeah, I want them, but... I don't think, think there's anything else we need to do in town. Before we head to Caliban. Or... Caliban. Yeah. Wait, is there a reason we're going to that place besides the fact that it's north and east? It's not even east, it's west. It's north, but we're going to go there, and then we're going to find a... Triangulate? A, a location, and, like, a location away from everybody, and then we're going to have Cilia uh, try and locate where the thing is, and if it's east, then we can travel east. Oh, okay. We're going to triangulate from that place. Right. Okay. And teleporting is the best way to get there? I guess it's the fastest way. It's the fastest way. Unless we want a a month-long boat ride. And then we have to walk to whatever direction that she sends us? Um, possibly. Hopefully we'll be able to 
secure some uh, rides, some horses or something. We're all going to ride Renless Magical Horse. <laughs> so if you guys don't have anything else to do in town, do you want to just skip to the next day? Yeah. I'm fine with it. I do. Right. Let me take off 2,800 gold. Oof. Lilithana gets kicked out. Yay! Visitation. Renloth is very sad about that. No, it's bullshit. (laughs) Come on, wasn't that rather heart wrenching? She was so sad. That was so blatantly manipulative. It was disgusting. It's like the girlfriend's like, if you break up with me, I'll kill myself. Taylor, we can see the reflection in your glasses. We know you're watching porn. <laughs> Where are you, really? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> like, Wait, oh, what? Can you imagine? Oh, man. It's like, ew, dude. <laughs> While you're on video chat. Does the girl show up eventually, or is it just the guys? <laughs> Your wife runs by. That's just a bunch of guys in a room. <laughs> oh, it's the weirdest porn ever. <laughs> just wait until they stand up. There, none of them are wearing pants. Oh, ew, 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 no. <laughs> Stop. All right. So the next day, you guys wake up, and true to her word, uh, the temple is gone. Good. Rocks and stone and trees. Did we go back to the temple, or did we just find a place in town? No, we went back, back to our house. Teleported back home. All right, that's fine. Yeah. Um, so as, at, but yeah, uh, it looks like it was it was never there. All the debris and everything is, is still where the temple was. Debris. Debris, like broken stones. I, trees. I, I know what the word debris <laughs> means. Is there debris? debris. Not, not the one she created. Debris. The one inside the. Oh, that okay. She was that's why. There's two temples, so I was very confused. outside. It's like it was never there. Yeah. Uh, There's not like no cleared space for for the huge temple or anything. It's just gone. I would walk out there and way far away from uh, Cecilia and cast detect magic and look for residual effects. Okay. When you cast detect magic uh, in the spot where you think it was, you don't detect any magic there. You just feel an intense, strong pull of magic back in the keep. Okay, as soon as I sense that, shut it down. All right. <laughs> nope. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> right? You're like, oh god, not again, not again. All right. So the next day, so you guys head uh, to the shop, the magic shop again the next day, yep. uh, and Lady Alif uh, accepts your payment, <sighs> and they all sack of gold teleports you to Calamain. I hope that's one, because we're asking for our money back, if so. If I take any force damage, I'm asking for a refund. (laughs) Teleporting this. No. Uh, That'd be so embarrassing for Lady Leaf. It would be so embarrassing. Wipe that smirk off her face. Well, she's been there before. Right, so she'd be like the second one. She's been everywhere. Oh, okay, she's on target. The The chances of failure are low on the table, not high on the table. I rolled a 93. Yeah, I did that last time. Yay! So I rolled like in the 90s and you're like, uh-oh. <laughs> like, dude, that's good. Yeah, I always think of low being good and high being bad. Mm-hmm. So when, I, when it's that far up the spectrum, I mean, that would have been a similar area. If, if it was the opposite spectrum. Alright, so once... Where did we uh, teleport to? Uh, you teleported uh, in, right outside of a small magic shop. Okay. So, uh, as you teleport, you're immediately hit by a brisk fall air, and uh, the humidity is much higher here, and you just there's uh, the sea breeze. You can smell the salt in the air. <sighs> Say... Uh, moderate-sized port town. There's, there's a lar- basically half the town is docks with large sea-going vessel or ocean-going vessels. Um, for, there are sailors all about. It seems like a relatively rowdy place. Um, 
lots of traders and uh, warehouse districts and things like that. It's, it's definitely a bustling port city. Yeah. So we're going to go get an in. So I hope you're inscribing me back, unless you'd like to meet in an hour and I can conduct some business, but I don't need to. No. It's up to you. I'll do it right now. If All that's right. what you prefer, I'll that's do it right fine. now. Okay. That way I don't lose you and you don't leave me stranded here. <laughs> Renlith, Should totally do that. Renlith, Renlith really does chuckle at that. <laughs> You're too much, Lady Leaf. And he Ugh, gets down. Get a room. <laughs> he gets ready and uh, starts doing his thing. Oh, let's go inside before you do that. Fine. I you walk inside uh, to the little uh, shop and it feels more like a like an uh, like a voodoo shop than a magic shop. Oh, there's a lot is... of there's a lot there's basically spell components are hanging along the, the oh, one of those. Yeah. Like, yes, this place is awesome. This it feels is... more like shamanistic than it does this is quaint. Chromatic magic. Um I ask, have you ever been to Celebramar? Celebramar, yes. That's that's where my family is from. I'm not from there originally, but I did live there for quite some time. I'm from a slightly smaller city down there. Originally, oh, most of my life I've lived in Solitress. Shopkeep! Shopkeep! We don't need a shop. No, oh, you want to talk. Uh, uh, well, when you walked I in, a little bell rang, and... Wigs. <laughs> eyelash, pasting, a, a heavily bearded and braided oh, uh, male dwarf uh, steps out from behind the counter that was almost head level, uh, and he says, Oh, what can I do for you? This place is awesome! Of course it's awesome! It's the awesome magic shop of Calamane. Of course. Uh, would you be interested in a trade? You look like a, 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 a well-read uh, man. He, 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 his eyes go off you and he looks at Lady Elif. I wasn't expecting work uh, this for a, another month or two. Uh, I don't really have uh, the, the funds right now to pay you back for the last visit. Last... Uh, don't worry, this is not a call for you, she responds to him. Vance very good. This is simply a business arrangement for these folks. They they have a teleport that they wanted, and now they're sending me back. So do not worry, I'm not here to, co to collect your bills. So it takes you long to figure out that was a donut. <laughs> what did you think it was? I don't know, I was like... He's trying to... Stealing his car. <laughs> There's like a straw sticking straight up. I don't know what <laughs> <laughs> You should eat your donuts with the straw, like, uh, like one chopstick with a straw. The weirdest way possible. Well, yeah. since she's not here for anything, what can I do for you? In the meantime, Renleth is beginning his thing. Uh, I have a book, and I pull out a thousand wild herbs and their uses that I've carried around for forever. You just hear this. <laughs> <laughs> you have a ritual book. I've seen it. You're using it right now. There's, there's no. How much you want for it? <laughs> I want to trade you a book. A book for a book. How much you want for it? Do you have a book? I do have books. Something interesting. Well, it interests you. If no. you're getting rid of that, I don't know what would interest the you. The weird. <laughs> Teach me your weirding ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll do that. Unconventional uses for minor cantrips? Yeah, actually, that sounds cool. All right. That does sound cool. That's like the only great way to use cantrips is unconventional. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Alright. He, he walks back behind the counter and comes back with a smaller tome than you've got, and it's unconventional use of minor cantrips. Um, mostly it's about illusions. Is there anything about Mage Hand in there? Probably. I haven't read it in a while. Can I thumb through it real quick? Alright. I'll briefly kind of scan through. Most, uh, a lot of it is talking about using uh, minor illusions and and, and things like that uh, to basically produce obscure effects or to, to basically it's it's a lot of prank type stuff or or using them in ways that you may not originally or immediately think of to just stupid stuff. But yes, there's a section on mage hand as well and a minor illusion, mage hand, uh, prestidigitation, thaumaturgy. So it goes into a little bit of uh, uh, divine magic as well. So anything about light like. Making people's junk glow. Uh, oh wait, that's a touch spell. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> no, uh, 
The, the, the section on light is mostly about blinding stuff. Uh, I'll take it. I'll swap them out. And and how and why it's a bad idea to cast light on on your nose. I have to. I've never. I've been immediately like. Boop. Basically, you can't see anything. It just hurts your eyes, and you're effectively blinded. Can you cast light on an unwilling subject? Um, in earlier editions, you definitely could. I don't know if you can on this one. That's interesting. So you can kind of try and blind someone for them with light. Yeah, I'll definitely take this book. Okay. I'm going to need at least 25 pages on weird shit you can do with cantrips. So right. start typing. Will do. Okay. Uh, <laughs> That's an interesting idea with uh, greater invisibility and then casting the light on somebody's nose. The question is, the greater invisibility probably takes effect precedence. Uh, because it's, 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 a, it's a higher level spell. Yeah, so you can totally blind someone with it. Nice. Yeah, and okay. I, I can cast cantrips at 30 Although feet that a touch. you can only cast it on an object, so I don't think you can actually cast it on someone's nose. What about their nose ring? Cast yes. it on their eye. Well, if it's their nose ring, it may, not, it, it may not blind them. It may just distract them. I'd probably give them a penalty to their attacks. I'd um, cast it on their eye. But if they did it on their glasses... Like this, this does. This, this, this book and this for that book is a fair trade. Let's let's. All right, this. you guys seems pretty pretty proud of himself to have your book. Okay, I will pocket the tome. Do you have any other books I could purchase? This stuff like this is is definitely what I'm looking for. Weird. That's as weird as I've got. For the most part, I you don't have like a treatise on the mating habits of manticores or something. Oops. Uh, what kind of stuff are you into, son? Weird. <laughs> Get out of my shop. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm not. We don't. We don't serve. We don't serve your kind around here. <laughs> we don't do that kind of stuff here. Deviants. <laughs> a bald dwarf running a voodoo shop calls me a deviant. <laughs> Check that off my life goal list. <laughs> he thought he was weird until you came it's in. Like, this furball asked for the <laughs> weirdest shit. So, we don't have that stuff. Nope, not at all. We don't want to get shut down. <laughs> whenever, whenever Rinleth finishes, yeah. in, in the few seconds that he has, he yeah. says, Lady Elif, if you ever find yourself in Celebrimore, seek out Gladry's the end, my father. Perhaps. Good doing business with you. Thanks for the trip. Enjoy the tree. And she <laughs> steps through... In, or into your portal and disappears back to, I guess, Enjoy Tarsus, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> uh, well, turns out you went to Hades. <laughs> Should just, just put it on random. Yeah, it's just random. <laughs> Be like, well, they're blacklisted. <laughs> yeah. Good luck getting back to your shop. <laughs> You mentioned desert damnation. Alright, yeah, so you I guys do that with my teleportation circle. You guys circle. are now in Calamine. Inside or most of you are now in, inside of a uh, Some of us have to leave outside. <laughs> I asked the dwarf Is there a place to buy horses in this town? Horses? Why would you want to buy horses in a port? Weird stuff! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Renleth is... Can you yell that? <laughs> Absolutely. Renleth he kind of crosses his arms. You know what? I don't think I should be dealing any with you anymore. You don't need to buy a horse. Stop anymore. talking to me. <laughs> Dwarf. And he turns around and leaves. Trying to talk down to me. You're the ones that are going to screw horses. <laughs> should have called him a half one. <laughs> screw it. You're the shortest you have ever seen. <laughs> You're a funny looking elf. <laughs> Moron. That's not right. how he makes the tars. <laughs> Ew. I think I speak dwarven as well. It's never come up. Yep, I speak I speak dwarvish. Have you guys never had to talk to a dwarf? <laughs> so I yeah, I'll say in dwarvish. Just tell us if there's somewhere that I can buy horses. No, that's not how you make centaurs. <laughs> I am not like the purple. <laughs> I want to ride a horse. <laughs> Jesus. Right. Weird you shit. want to ride a horse. Never mind. You <laughs> fool. Not in this town. Enjoy your garbage <laughs> shop, Nelly. Enjoy your garbage shop. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
uh, and Corin. Also, uh, a really <laughs> awkward time. All of my notes in that thousand wild herbs and their uses are all scribbled in giant, by the way. Okay, I think. Because <laughs> screw that guy. Uh, Alright, so you guys are now standing outside of the awesome magic shop of Calum. You really did a number on that ugly dwarf in there. Oh shit, we did break silly. Uh, what? Yeah, wait, we did. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like, wait, what? Did we forget her? <laughs> 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 like, oh, uh, well, it would be fine anyway, because now that I'm here, I can get back here. So basically, the layout of Calamain is there's a there's an old wall that divides the city nearly in half. There's the town center uh, in the center of that wall. Uh, you're at a magic shop on the south side of town, um, and then the north side of town has a like a cove with. Uh, Ships and ducks all over, all through the inner side of that cove. Okay. I guess I could have just shown you the picture rather than describing it. Um, Either way. Do, do you want to have Celia do her thing before we start dying stuff? I would like to go somewhere not in a town. You could head outside of town. Yeah, let's head outside of town. You know, too far from the city gates. Thing. I am becoming I am very familiar with the particular spot that I'm standing in. I'm taking a mental picture of it. Alright. Very familiar. I'm very familiar with this place. Alright. Well, right is there. this going to be a demon thing again? Maybe we, we do want to be in a town in an enclosed space. As opposed to, like, releasing things that's still out. Well, we're going to kill them. Wait, we'll try. I don't think he wants to endanger people. That's the point. I don't want to be chased out of a town. Okay. Uh, that's a good point. But we're in the forest, right? And they show up and they have wings and they just fly into town. As opposed to being trapped in like a room. I suppose so, but oh. the reason that they're this, here is... That's my like, counter argument. I, yeah. like, I get your point, and yours is a better point than mine. Yeah. But well, I don't think they would fly it yet. Time, they the conversation. Yeah. True that, true that. Yeah, that's boring. Alright, so you guys walk oh, out okay. of town and yes. find a nice secluded area outside of town, away from the houses, and tell Celia to do her thing. Do your thing! Um, uh, before, before she does that, before she does that, I'm going to say, uh, point of order, I'm going order. to... I, I'm going to make sure that I'm able, anytime that we do this, I want to make sure that I'm able to teleport us out immediately. So, when she does this, I'd like for us all to be around her. If something comes like a Baylor, for example... So we can get the hell out. So we can leave. Wait, did those things show up when she did the point thing? Yeah. Last time? Yes. Okay. Alright. So yeah. have, have the circle ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Why? She didn't notice me the first time, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at now three hit points. <laughs> I'm almost dead. It's just going clink, 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 clink. Wasting all his ammo. It's not very cool, <laughs> man. Uh, well, it doesn't, it doesn't count ammo unless I roll it again. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, so... She does her pointy thing? Yep. Alright, so she does her pointy thing and she spins yeah. around and concentrates. Then she th- thinks for a moment and she says, Well, we're closer. I, We're getting warmer, guys. It's it's northeast. I say, I say we've covered maybe a third of the distance. Okay, so we're clearly going off the continent. I guess we do need a boat. This is very weird. Okay, let's uh, let's. Maybe she's taking maybe us to the turtle. The turtle. I mean, maybe. That was supposed to be east. I don't think we had her look for the turtle. Could she look for specific things? She just said she sensed strong magic. I don't think she said she sensed strong magic. Kabar saw uh, in his vision like an eagle eye view of islands. Like I think he, I think he said seven islands, and then there was one further off to the east. And then when he flew over to it, it was like a a, a turtle with a building on it. I mean, we should follow it. But if we're only a third there, we're going to need a charter boat. But Kabar didn't know where or his steal were. one. He had no ref- frame of reference. Right. I don't know how to. I don't know how to fly a boat. Jesus. 
<laughs> I don't know how to teleport a boat. <laughs> yeah. Can you teleport a boat? There it is. We just have to get the boat back. We just have to get the boat to the location. We can teleport back. But yeah, no, we should probably charge a boat. I don't think we need like a ship. I would feel more comfortable with a, a solid crew. And, and his own cabin. I was about to say. <laughs> comfortable quarters. <laughs> I'm not going to sit in a hammock. They're really comfortable. <laughs> They're not good support for my back. Jeez. How do you sleep on the mattress since you can feel the pee 15 mattresses down? <laughs> you know? Alright guys, it's time for me to go home. It's quarter after 11. It's pretty it's late, but this is a relatively good stopping point. You guys can try to figure out where you're going beginning of next session. Northeast. Yes, I think we're going to try to charter a boat and go to Northeast. So, so just for a little bit of reference, you can think about uh, when you guys go back and start asking around vaguely for ship travel uh do you are you like telling them where you want to go or just uh telling them who the deep go? sea fishing expedition to the northeast we have not yeah we'll have to think about that because it's hard to get on a boat if you have a general direction like i want you to go that direction we why don't we look for some maps that have something to the northeast or that might show something to the northeast could do and that way we can have a specific destination. Find a, you can find a cartographer or ask, ask around if anyone knows of anything. There's an arcane sage or a, a jade, sanctum. jade sanctum. Yeah, they probably have maps, right? There's one nearby. Um, no, it's on the other side of a mountain to the south. Yeah, well, we had some kind of magical means of transportation. It's a, it's a couple of days ride south of you. Oh, okay. Well, then I don't mind that. So I mean, we're rich people. We don't have a reason to do anything. Well, Redless rich. I want, I want to ride on a boat. Most of the money that I have is squarely in the party fund. Renleth doesn't have a lot of money. He has patents of nobility. Yes. He also has all of the party's money. <laughs> <laughs> and can teleport away at will. Yeah. As someone who's known Von Byers, descendants of Ludwig Von Byers, nobility does not mean you have money. Oh, well, that's, that's a fair point. Right. Devon and Hannah, so they get money. So right, Agreed. Especially the part where we got rid of Lilithana. Completely unexpected. No, I was looking through my spells, I was like, Greater Restoration, remove charm effects. Hey! I wonder. Grandma's probably mad at me for that. Fans would die this session, and then we could convince you to just. Keep playing, but with little famous character. <laughs> wow. <laughs>